Do you always play for a fade then? Do you always do uh, aim left or do you aim 10, 10 straight? Uh, I aim straight. Okay. I am just aim straight and I know it's going to go a, a little bit right. Have you drawn the bullet? No, not, not intentionally. Oh, oh, oh! Stick around the club I can just rotate. Wow! I might feel like I'm swinging this way, and look where that's pointed. But when I get to the golf ball, look, it's only slightly right. Yeah. Because it's coming back round. So from the session, then, what, what would you like to get? You'd like to. I'd like to be able it. to get the snap at the at the ball. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, obviously, more speed and not wasting it up here. Yeah. And draw the ball. Yeah. Um, so do you do you always play for a fade then? Do you always do um, aim left or do you aim ten ten straight? Uh, I aim straight. Okay. I am just aim straight, and I know it's going to go a, a little bit right. Okay. Sometimes it goes straightish. Sometimes it goes dead left. You know, it's a bit, a bit all sorts. Right. Okay. <coughs> Have you drawn the ball? No. In the past? Not, not intentionally. Not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I've tried to, but obviously it's just, it just either goes dead left or uh, a slice. Right. I've never really had a draw. To start it right and draw it back. Yeah. No. Okay. I've also watched millions of uh, YouTube videos of different people as yeah. well, you know, so it's just like, whoa, it just knackers your head up. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, I see the little fade. That's controlled, that one. Yeah, it just drifts in, doesn't it? Yeah. A bit of balance, so. What tends to go through your mind when you're swinging? Any swing thoughts? I try not to have too many thoughts because in the past, <laughs> in the past, uh, I've had so many things going through my head. You know, when I get to the ball, uh, am I moving? Is my head still? And uh, end up freezing. Yeah, I just and then just end up about an hour over the ball because I'm thinking about what I'm doing. This is why I've come to see you guys to try and. Try and find out what's right for you yeah. at the end of the day. How does your body want to do it? Because yeah. we're going to go into places today that are going to seem so unusual. Yeah, and that's that's what I want, so I can practice the, the right thing instead of practice the wrong thing. Exactly. Because we've got to, we're going to create reference. We're going to, you're going to become familiar with where you need to go so you can go there again. Because it's okay having the intention of a draw, but if your ball keeps doing that, it's okay picturing a draw, but it's like if the ball keeps slicing, and you don't have a, you don't have a, a sense and understanding of how to play that draw and and a, and, a, and a recognition of how you move for that, then you're never going to connect the two things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there's an intention behind how we move in that is directly connected to the intention of the golf shot. Hi guys, I just want to let you know about two one-day golf schools. I'll be running in Holland on the 19th and 20th of this month. So not long to go, there's only four places per group. It's 699 for the day, so it really is a fantastic opportunity to experience everything in a small group where we really do get to grips with your whole game in a day, full GRF experience. There's two coaches, all the gear, all GRF, pressure plate, fly scope. It's gonna be a great day. Hope to see you there, only four places, please guys. Follow the link, get in touch for details. It's going to be a great day. Hope to see you there. So like when you play football, no matter whatever level you play, you'll be pass you're passing a ball, you're kicking a ball. Mm. So there's an intention behind your movement that you're recognising in terms of achieving the intention of the shot. So at the minute, you're trying to play a draw, but the recognition of how to play that, or you've, you've yeah. tried to play a draw maybe. Yeah. So if you wanted to play a draw. Now I'm just, I'm just trying to hit it straight. Let's, let's try so and yeah. play a draw. draw. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what you do to play draw. Just think that was the same. <laughs> exactly right. the same. So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tilt this up. What we're going to do is we're going to get a right to left slope to the ball above your feet. You know that feels weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I want you to play that for me. Play. A drop. Just play that shot there. Yeah, try to try to play it straight if you like. Try play what you straight. normally do. What? Just, yeah, Brown George. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in a couple hours. Yeah, yeah. trust me. Through his legs. <laughs> and 
there's a bit of draw. Mm. Sharp. Brilliant. Mm. If we're drawing it now, if we've got a little draw, yeah. where could you swing? In what direction would you swing to encourage more draw? Uh, yeah. Across there. Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> but do I need to move my feet back as well? Am I? Maybe, maybe. No, not really. Just, oh. just have to see what you can do with the swing first. Because yeah. the way you were just describing it to me and moving with that description was, was ideal. No, I can talk with a shot. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds brilliant <laughs> to now. I'm expecting big things, you know. Watch that, look. Starts right. Look at that. Now it's not drawn yeah. tons, but it, the, sh the shot's not fading, is it? So you started the ball right, yeah. and it's not faded right. Mm. Normally it's, if you start a ball right, yeah. Anything, yeah. So we've got a ball starting right, and not going further right, which yeah. normally it would do. Oh, what a shot. Nice one. Look at that. <laughs> Just need to buy yourself a green stage, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> or a six inch tee peg because <laughs> if you think about how high the ball is above your feet mm. it's probably about this now what this has just done is it's changed the dynamics of the club yeah so look what happens to this as i raise the club look where that arrow points yeah left 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 left, left. so you were starting to get a bit of a draw albeit we've had to shift the ground yeah we've had to do this but that shows how you've very quickly, within half a dozen balls, started to adapt. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive in now and start to, this is the shallow end and we're walking into the deep end and we're going to start to recognise now how we can increase our ability to adapt. Yeah. How we can start to shift the path and start to rotate the face. And then we're going to go through the body and we're going to start to look at how you create forces. Oh, oh dear. Now this can happen because we've just been used to us yeah, feet and now the ball's back I'm, down here, you see. Don't think I'm back down to earth yet. <laughs> oh my god. No worries. Straight. Yeah it is. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Now this can happen. This is this is a good thing that we see in this. We don't need to focus too much on this because this stuff's gonna change, okay? But what we've got here is your golf swing. And we've got your feet, left foot, right foot. Here we're looking at the interaction with the feet and the ground and we, we can see the pressure you're applying. This is really good. This is like extremely good, this profile. Just depends how you're using it. This torque rotates, so see the white line? Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at how the rotation of that and I'm looking at where that cross is. That cross is, as you get halfway down, you've shifted pressure, but the problem is, like you said, the upper body, has released the golf club. Mm. So like you said earlier, that kind of casting action, yeah. you recognise that, essentially, you're throwing the golf club too early, you're using, you're trying to create speed, that's yeah. what your body's doing. You've actually got a lot of really good things going on with how you're using the ground, mm. but you're not really utilising them with the form. What you're getting from the ground, how do you transfer that through the body to the club? What can we do with that golf club? because <clears throat> we've got to recognise the capabilities of this club for us to adapt our actions to utilise them. Mm. If we're used to using the club a certain way, no matter what we do with the rest of the body, we're probably not going to recognise how to actually make the best use of it. Yeah. So what I want to do first is I want you to just swing the club with your right hand. Just your right hand. Just half swings, little tiny swings. <clears throat> that was good. What I'd like to do is now just use your wrist. Just, try, just use your wrist to swing it. Do I mean with my hands still? Yeah, you can use your, you can you can let your arms move, let your arm move, but predominantly your wrist and your hand. That's it. So that club face is open and closing. Can you feel that? Yeah. Right now, what I want you to do, <coughs> hold the club up in front of you like this, and what we're going to do, we're going to we're going to swing it from side to side. I just want you to swing the club head from side to side. Okay. Cool. Now we're going to swing the club head from side to side, but we're going to use this end to do it. This end's going to lead. So it's going to be like, think of it as like a fish tail. It's going to snake like this. So it's a flail. 
So we're flailing it back and we're flailing it through. What you can do is hold the club further down for me yeah. and just cock your wrist slightly so you've got some space under your arm. And now this can pass freely and just let that travel underneath your arm and just let that lead. So this goes from side to side. So think about this end here. Yeah. That's leading the action there. That's it. So there's a snap that you were talking about over here. Yeah. And then there's a snap on the way back over there. Two different places. <clears throat> well done. Now what I want you to do is start to let yourself use your elbow as well. Let your elbow help you. That's it, let your elbow pass your body and let it help you get it over there. You can really get over there now. That's it, look at that, and then you can let it go. We've now got the club head following the handle. So that's lagging, that's trailing. Yeah. So now you're flailing the golf club and the club and it's trailing. Yes. Mm. Now, both hands on the club, hold it up in the air and just do the same thing with both hands. Awesome. Let your elbow pass your chest, pass your rib cage. Then it goes, that's it, and then through. Yeah, that's it, let the club snap and then take it back. And So you've got a snap over here and you've got a snap over there. Nice, well done. The club's travelling out there but then feel how the club head can just rotate. Feel how you can just, yeah. Do you feel that? Yeah. That little snap of the wrist and that rotation of the club. And what shape of golf shot do you think that might produce? A draw. A draw. Using your wrist, your elbow, making life as easy as possible. Fantastic. Well done. Different feeling? Yeah. Right, let's do that. Let's just use that same swing, Stuart. No practice swing, just get up there. We've got loads of balls, we'll use those as practice swings. Same swing with your arms, just out there to the right, we're just practicing. So two, so you went into full ball effort yeah. because we put a ball in front of you, you see? Yeah. So what we're gonna to learn to do is to recognize our movement and not just look at a ball and go straight into default mode of smacking a ball. What we're gonna recognize now is the intention of our movement. So actually, it's the swing that you're gonna recognize. So what you just did then, show me again. There you go. Now that same speed, what speed would that be? On a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the one you just used that with the five, ball. Maybe. Five. Let's play this shot with five out of 10, but with that movement you just did. Look at that. Draw. Yeah. What a shot. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> Fantastic. The strike, the fly, the draw. And I didn't have to put as much effort in. Exactly. Make it easy. Enjoy it. That's awesome, Steve. Shot. Mm -hmm. Different feeling? Yeah. A lot better, yeah. So, you can draw nice. it. Awesome. Shot. What a shot. Mm. <laughs> Look at the shape. So even though you're not striking it like, that, like perfect every time, which is golf, yeah. what you've got here is you've got a ball flight that's not slicing off or fading off. Oh, that's beautiful. Shot. Look at that little draw. <laughs> Look at that, it's 150. Yeah. Yeah, and it feels a lot different, a lot better. And you don't have to really put as much power in kind of thing. Oh, wow. What a shot. Shot, Stuart. Yeah, that's really. Brilliant. Has that surprised you? Yeah. That's, uh, I mean, I'm knackered, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it, though, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's worth it. It is going to be a workout. And, and do you know what the bad news is? We've only just started. <laughs> so just pop on that board for me. Just swing the club from side to side now. Just rock the board back and forth. Yeah. I get mixed up. That's all right. You're doing good. Big forward press first. Yes. One. Brilliant. Big forward press. That forward press, that's giving your body the feedback of where that club is. Big, that's it. Yeah. Well played. Good. More swing now. To get more swing, you don't have to make lots more arm swing. You can just use your wrists. Yeah. Use the flail. 
That's fantastic, Stuart. Shot, Stuart. Draw as well, eh? Now, <laughs> yeah. Now, see if you can do it right of the stick. Look at that. Shot. What a shot. Strong stinger draw with a little swing. Mm. That's de in the club. That's getting the strike. That's getting that compression. Fantastic. Shot. Yeah. Such a different feeling, is it? A different sensation of striking. Getting that big forward press, get that shaft leaning forward, pushing it forward. Brilliant. Wow. Look at that. Nice yeah. Little swing, look, it's gone 125 yards. Let's step off it. Now feel the same thing without the board. <laughs> forward. You've got to use the forward press first. Yeah. Just go with it. One, two, three, four, off you go. Very good. So you've got the face closing, you see. Mm. Now let's make more swing. What a shot. Mm. So you can commit now, where we were right back at the beginning of the lesson, out to the right, nice high draw, big high draw finish. Good, that's beautiful. But you can go more to the right now. Yeah. So now let's swing and follow through over here. This is where you need to do. Really let yourself freewheel it into the finish. It's too rigid. Let the arms go soft. Let the wrist go soft like we did. That's it. And again, feel the whip. There you go. Now over here, off we go. That's it. Let's go again, that's awesome. You can really start to let yourself ease up and just use the whip. Yeah. Look at this over here. Oh, 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 Stuart. Look at that. That's fantastic. Mm. Starting a ball right and drawing it back. Today's just the start. These are the fundamentals for you. Yeah. Because the thing you had was a big slice. Yeah. Now you've got a draw. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. Starting right, drawing back. Yeah. Out here even more. So if I wanted to get it even more, do I have to close that face let, quicker? Let the face close. But swing more to the right now and let the face close. So you swing out here. What a golf shot. Yeah. Really good shot. <laughs> it's totally different, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did that feel? Very good. That was perfect. I don't know if I am aiming over there, but I think I am, but it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Exactly. And going there. High draw, 150, and beautiful. But watch this. If you just stand, stand here, just stand there for me there. That's perfect. Yeah. Watch this. I might feel like I'm swinging this way, and look where that's pointing. But when I get to the golf ball, look, it's only slightly right. Yeah because it's coming back round on an arc. So you might feel like you're miles right with the handle, but by the time you get to here, you're only slightly right, and then you're gonna be rotating it and releasing it, and then it's gonna go, it's, it's always trying to go left. Yeah. You literally can't go far enough right at the moment. Yeah. Because you're closing the face, the ball starts straight, and it draws because you've got a path to the right. Mm. So that's what happened on the last shot, and that is how we need to play your driver. So we'll just grab your driver, 